everyone what's going on you guys have asked and asked again so here it is this is my duty belt review for 2018 getting started on the front of the belt here we have a dual magazine pouch each magazine holds 15 rounds for a total of 30 extra coming around to the right hand side we have our sidearm the smith and wesson mmp 40 with the tactical flashlight and a triple retention holster now for my particular setup, just behind my firearm, I have my collapsible baton, aka the ASP, because it's made by the company, ASP. Coming back around the front, I have my primary handcuff pouch. It's an enclosed pouch and it carries one set of handcuffs. Now like most officers, we flip back around to the back and I have my secondary pair of handcuffs in a bikini style holder. Back opposite of my sidearm, we have the Taser. We carry the X26 with 25 foot probes. The Tasers are reverse mounted, so there's no confusion between it and the handgun. Back front side again, we have the Triad XT LED flashlight. This is also made by the company ASP. There's not much to say about this one. It's our radio, or somebody might call it a walkie talkie. Did I catch a Niner in there? And that's a Tommy Boy reference for you youngins. And last but not least, the newest addition to my belt. This is a Narcan holder. I purchased it at Galls.com. And prior to this, my Narcan kit was sitting in my trunk, which was not accessible or going to do anybody any good. So now I have it right on my belt and it's ready to go. Now I'm going to talk about the three most common styles of belts. This first one is a nylon weave with a plastic buckle. It's usually used in the community police teams and is lightweight. It doesn't look as fancy as the other ones, but it's functional. So this belt is the one I was issued when I got hired. It is a full grain leather belt. It's stiff and rigid, and although it looks a little bit better, it's not as functional. As you'll see on the inside here, there's none of the extra support for the underbelt to help the belt stay on. And last but not least, the duty belt that I currently wear. This is something I purchased on my own and is what would be considered an imitation leather. It has the basic leather look, but it's a lot softer and more pliable. As you'll see here on the inside, it's lined with the stiff side of Velcro. This works in conjunction with the underbelt that I wear and helps the belt stick to the underbelt even aside from the keepers. What you guys will see here, even though it's not super pretty anymore, is where I added my own Velcro to the parts of the equipment that stick above the inside of the belt. You can see where the rough side of the Velcro on the actual belt is below some of the parts of my gear that stick out, which is why I added those on there. Now you'll see here in a second when we get to the fuzzy side of the underbelt, those rub up against this, adding for extra support. Now overall, the keepers are what hold the main gun belt to the underbelt, which are these little leather straps right here. And I'll show you how those work around for those of you who don't know how a gun belt or a duty belt actually goes on. The underbelt goes through the belt loops of your actual pants. Then the gun belt goes over top of that and these leather straps go from the inside of the underbelt out around the front of the gun belt, strapping it to your underbelt, which is connected to your pants. And that's how everything stays up. Here's an example of it on. You can see the keepers. If you can tell, they're wrapped around the back side of that underbelt, which is fed through the belt loops of my pants. And that's what holds all the gear up. That, along with the Velcro, makes it for a pretty rigid setup. All right, everyone, that was my duty belt tour. You guys had asked for it, so I wanted to give it to you. I hope it was everything that you wanted to see. If it wasn't, feel free to ask me questions in the comments, and I will try to get back to you. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for other law enforcement-related topics, a little insight on what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram at MikeyMo50. Until I see you guys in the next one, take really good care of yourselves and stay safe out there.